Hey guys, welcome back to A Hat in Time Let's Play. On our last episode, we first experienced Dead Bird Studio, where we performed in Murder on the Owl Express with the conductor, and got everybody hyped for our new movie with DJ Grooves. On today's episode, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and check out the Evil Forest. It's the map that we just unlocked. Is the hour uh, the um, not, not hourglass of the word right now? All right, contractual obligations. Telescope. Why was? Eh. Anyways, yeah, we're we're going to the subcon forest, which very spooky level. Definitely very fantasy-like. I really... I mean, I, it's hard to say because I'm, 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 I have a feeling I'm going to be like, oh, I really enjoy this level. With pretty much every level on this game because of just how well-made the overall game is. Already? Ominous! I need to find a, a badge seller. So many pawns. And trapped. Which I like how it's just a big sheet. Like, as you'll see, this dude has, like, pretty much ultimate power over this realm. But he still traps me in a big sheet. I mean, I'd kind of be beating a dead horse if I said it at this point. You'll, 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 you'll catch on to That's right. The old one got himself killed. His head popped off. And now I need a new tower. I mean, I do like towers. Find subcon well, murder the spears, clean out the subcon well. I, he gets my soul. It's hostage, so that doesn't that implies that he only holds my soul. He doesn't get my soul long term. Ah, what the hell? Let's take the first Faustian agreement I made. Establish in the contract, I get it. Don't worry though. If you finish your two script, you'll have your soul back real soon. And don't you dare forget our little contract. I think you will start when it Alright. Nothing is interesting nearby. It's just forest. This forest. Oh, yeah, I can make it explode with these guys. It's kind of like a way of teaching you. I like, I like how they do clever stuff like that. They like teach you how certain mechanics of this world work. Like, you get a little. 
reward for it. A dweller mask yarn. Which, we're not getting a dweller mask for a long, long time. But it's nice to start our quest towards the dweller mask. We're now one of twelve towards the dweller mask. The alchemist cap. Anyways, the the we only need one more yarn uh, for that particular cap, and then we'll be able to do some grave robbing here pretty soon. And it's ice yarn, so it doesn't matter. But it's still nice to get extra yarn. Oh, and I can't get to it without the spell. All right. Doesn't matter. Really like that. Like that. Alright, so it's just a bunch of just you know taunts. Yeah. Anyways, let's make our way to the well, which I think is back this way. Money to be made in grave robbing. Like I went to the way towards later quests, but nothing viable for me at the moment. Platform. Uh, I'm so good at platforming. Just talent. Eh, better to fall off at the beginning, but still, it's a little, <clears throat> it's a little embarrassing. All right. Okay. No, we're gonna focus on. We're not. We're not going to mess around there. Yeah, this is the big tree. It goes up very high. Let's see. Let's see. It's the, it's the, I guess I have to go to here. Not far to go, kid. Uh, still a little ways to go. It's not that. Eh, yeah, it's fine. It is at this moment that he realized, hey, maybe I should have spent that hundred pounds on that uh, snowfall. But, oh well! Here we are! This makes it more exciting. Right. Oh, uh, 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 uh. oh, and I didn't die. Thank you, Big Tree. Oh, Big Tree Masters, ye have spareth me. Oh god. I need to find my way properly back to where I need to go. There we are. Now we're reoriented. Eh, oh god. Okay, let's not try and... Reinvent the wheel here. Okay, there we go. Naturally, puts you on there. And this little guy. And this guy. And this guy. Oh god! Oh god! I keep falling. 
and it's making me nervous. Cause it's pretty high up now. Like I'm definitely dying if I if, if there's no branches to save me. to the big mushroom and we get the present. The beginning of the hamburger relic. So now we make our way down. Not super slow, but not also super fast either because this is, again, this is where having slow fall would have came in handy really well, but here we are. Far to go, kid. Yeah, I'm aware. I've already been up there. It's, it's a big mushroom. That's life. Life is a big mushroom. Alright, so, he's the all, so I'm gonna go the other way. Huh? Is everything really blocked off? I thought so, I thought, ah. The subcon well was the other way. But apparently the game is telling me I have to go that way. Alright. Well, came back this way to go to Big Tree. We can't go up, we can't use the deuces yet. Pretty, pretty much everything's locked off right now. It's like saying, hey, you have one objective? Go and do that. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna go and sit on this bench. It's a pretty nice bench. And time slows down. And Hat Kid sat upon that bench. Without a care in the world. Looking at the fire. As it blocked off most of the parts of Subcon Forest. This is also a shot. Oh, oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. That's pretty cool. For a second there, I thought it was going to be something like where it's nowhere near the bench itself. That would have been entertaining. We just have this cinematic camera, and it keeps showing different shots of your character, and then randomly it shows one shot of somewhere completely different on the map. And then it comes back to just cinematic shots of your character. It doesn't explain that. That would be perfect. Game developers. Think about it. Alright, let's get uh let's get on with our adventure. Why do I not, why do I continuously find bad sellers when I do not need their assistance? But now when I have endless pawns to spend, I can't find a bad seller to save my life! I like how that looks like a face. There's little owls in there. It's creepy. that yet, but I think I can still make my way up there. Hey, let's go. Little train set relic going on. Okay. Still a fair amount of distance from the well, I'm sure. Why, hello there! You didn't forget about me, did ya? Don't tell me you forgot about me. I can never forget about you. You're one of my favorite villains from anything. You're so entertaining. What's up? You working on any contractual obligations lately? You better be. Remember our little deal? You see, the problem is I don't remember where the well is, so if you could just help me out there. Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there in the middle of my village. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting the parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. 
How adorable. That is adorable. Oh my god! Dispose of them! I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> you got it, Jeremy. Anyways, back to work, Trooper. This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient. I disagree. Patience is a virtue, and I find this to be a very nice vacation. The forest is very peaceful. All right, let us. We want to die! Yay! All right, Christian Shaw. We want to burn bright and then burn out, become a cloud of smoke. Our bonfire needs more fuel. Only the finest paintings will do. Can you help? We want to die. We want to burn bright. Our bond. Right, so they all say the same thing. We Unless want this one says something. No. Our bond. Okay. You and that was. I just want to point out how lazy the three of you are. This this is literally over here. Like you could have done that. Later, the painting. I understand. The, uh, Oh yes, I just need apples because nothing breaks the ice like apples. There's an apple. Now you will set the apple on fire. And oh, ma oh, maybe I shouldn't have just ran right into it. <laughs> John Rambo. All right. Yeah, maybe I can, considering I just did. What? Deal. What? 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 Do something. What? Do what? what? Do something. What? Alright. Alright, let's follow these little pathways to say where the other paintings are. This one is just up here. Just need to make my way up to that area. Let's do that with a little dash. A little dash hop. They used to call me Little Dash Hop. More. S'mores? I can't provide s'mores. I can barely afford marshmallows, much less graham crackers. And then you're gonna want chocolate too, you greedy bastards. Alright, I need an apple root. Apple Ringoda. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to throw it. Oh, well. Pretty much the worst possible outcome because, you know, I'm an idiot. Oh, yet still it forgives. Still, it, it's very, very forgiving. I dropped that nowhere near the ice block. It was just like, oh, you, you held an apple explosive? Yeah, we'll open it for you. That was, that was terrible of me. I did not deserve this painting. I was gladly throw it in the fire. Okay, sadistic little hat kid. And now we can go to the swamp. Enough to stitch a hat. Oh, snaps. Did we get the uh, explosives hat? Wait, do we have ice? Oh, it's total yarn. Ooh. I forgot about that. I thought you had to collect specific yarn for each piece. So do I go for the brewing hat or do I go for the ice hat? I guess the brewing hat, because that's heavily used here. Gotcha! Yes, I murdered them with art. Don't think I'm done with you. There's more of these pets around my forest, and I need you to take care of every single one. I 
man, if it unlocks the whole forest so I can get all the time pieces, I'll do whatever. Next on your to-do list, clean up the subpar world. That's right, you're a plumber now. Congratulations on your promotion. Thank you. Do I get a party before that? I mean, normally with promotions, there's like a party that comes with it or... Oh no, I get it. You just relax, having fun, and I do all the hard work. You can't do it because, you know, I get it. You're weak. You need me to handle your business for you. Totally get it. It's cool. It's cool. Hell yeah, give me three, pussy. Always. Faustian contract! Faustian contract! Faustian contract! Faustian Faustian Faustian! Packages, I'm not doing mailboy right now. Oh, the man. Oh, the manor. <laughs> yeah, let's do the manor. Manor's fun. wish there was a part where you take him to court <laughs> over the contracts <laughs> and it's like court proceedings that'd be hilarious it's just the rest of the game is just like phoenix right ace attorney but you know in this in this world it's just like a long drawn out trial too it's, it's phoenix right ace attorney but um significantly less action -y. so it's more just like a regular court case where it's very boring a lot of litigation I mean it would be to it would be completely unfun to play and everybody would put pretty much put it down immediately but that would just be so hilarious to have that happen like midway through the game like you're just halfway through through the game you've been playing you spent like eight hours on this game let's say and then out of nowhere it's a completely different game after that I'd be, I mean, yeah, it would piss people off, but I, I, it would also be very hilarious to me. <gasps> Intruders! Who dares enter my ship? <gasps> it's Cooking Cat! My dog! Or I guess my cat. I fucks with Cooking Cat. A closet! You only really wear one outfit, so there's lots of room for skeletons. Ominous! Can I dive in here yet? I don't remember how to do the, the thing. I think I need... Oh, I can! I want to go down. Further down. I'm trying to go... Oh, I do need to be able to do the belly flop or whatever. Maneuver it is. It's unfortunate. But... Once I can do that maneuver in that little area right there, I'm pretty sure. She keeps a journal and it has little details about every mission that you do. It's a little, it's a little fun little thing. It's like Hat Kid's reaction to the previous mission. But, alright. Let's go to... We finished our first mission in the, fo in the Evil Forest. We have... You know what? Let's do the unlock mission in Mafia Town. We have so many, um... Pawns that... Ooh, it's heating up Mafia Town. That's a good one. Alright. Population, lots of fried Mafia. Mission, cool things down. Perspiration, yes. Unfortunately. Let's start the act. This is one of our little bonus missions. And this is a really fun one. No 
Look at mess. This is terrible. Someone turn on all faucets in Mafia Town. Same faucets that control the town volcano. Was it you, child? No? Mafia think he saw a little girl turn on all faucets. Mustache girl, my nemesis. Little hat kid, can you save Mafia Town by turning off all faucets? If you close all, maybe water start flowing again. Alright. Oh no! Yikes. I like the, synchroni the synchronicity, boys. Really sets home just how se severe the situation is. And I enjoy, and I for one enjoy that. Go fight the good fight. Alright. Let's go turn off some faucets. shouldn't have jumped in, you know, from a weird angle without actually seeing what I was jumping at. Call me crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. So I hit them all in order. We got a Tanuki sleeping on the ground. It's not even on the air. Oh, there's a Tanuki in the air. I cannot get to that yarn yet. That's the one I saw. I love that. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here for a while. Take things in. Think about the mission that I'm on. Just a random chair in the middle of nowhere. I love it. All right. So, how am I supposed to get to that? Is the question. I don't have the means to get to that yet. Oh, I can get to it through this down here. I see. I can take pictures. That's gotta suck. This guy's burning alive down there. I'm sorry, Mafia man, but I cannot help you. Dang, how many Mafia peoples are burning down there? I need to turn off these facets, because it looks like they're still living. So I, it's not that hot, it's not lava. It looks like lava. But it's clearly not lava or else their skin would be melting off. Wow, John, that's fucking morbid. Yes! Yes, it is. Alright, on to the next uh, faucet. Fuck, I'm stupid. Alright, 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 alright. Jeez. Okay, well I... Oh, come on, come... Okay, well, now it actually matters. So, if I die... If I hit the lava again, I die. Hey, a token. I don't even remember what these do. Oh, yeah, it's a little... On the ship, that you can re redeem them for. It's just a fun little thing. It doesn't really affect the gameplay. All right. 
Oh no! Oh come on! Killed by the palm tree. Wow, it's my own fault for getting down to one health, but just ouch. Ouch! I I I did not know that. <gasps> oh, we got another piece of yarn right there. Let's go. It's just a plus one yarn because I already have a spin yarn. I already got a sp Oh, that's okay. Now I remember. So you don't get access to make that hat until you get the yarn for that hat. But once you get the yarn one time, then you have access to make that hat, and then all yarn you collect goes towards any hat that you want to make. That's why I was uh, kind of confused earlier. It's kind of a weird system, but I understand that, you know, it's you're trying to appeal, get that, it's an E for Everyone game. I mean, I would definitely, if I had kids, let them play this game. This is a fantastic game. It has a lot of little tongue-in-cheek humor, but it's still very, you know, cutesy. It's one of those, you know, relaxing, fun games. So I can see why would, they wouldn't make the crafting system too complex. I uh, did not know that. I'm referencing a reference. How lame is that? Relic! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, hat kid. Okay, okay. We're at least alive, but that was a very unfortunate set of circumstances. Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. Oh, we're back up to three life because somehow we found a heart. There's another heart right there. Let's go. Full life. Full life. This guy's like, I'm not feeling the heat. I'm still having a good time. You keep on enjoying life, Reg. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm an asshole. Alright. Let us slowly drop down onto the nozzle. Now we are recalibrating at the nozzle. And that should be all of them. We saved Mafia Town! Hooray! No more lava. Oh, some more lava. I guess we have to go up there first. Into the great unknown! Or, or great unknown! You did it! Small child saved Mafia Town! Now Mafia no longer need to eat lava for breakfast! Amazing! Please, take this as trophy! You are truly the hero of Mafia Town! It's all I've ever wanted was to be acknowledged as the hero of Mafia Town. Life goal complete. Fish first. Ooh, I want some green and some red. I don't care what either of them are. What is that? That looks like some sort of like Christmas cake. But it's made of something that's not cake. I actually, uh, speaking on fruitcake, it gets a bad rap, but I actually don't mind fruitcake. My, uh, I'd always have fruit, there would always be fruitcake at, uh, 
Christmas when I was at the grandparents' house. And I I kind of enjoyed it. It wasn't something that I would actively eat. But, you know, I, in small bits, it was it was pretty enjoyable. Alright, so we're at, what, ten? Yes, ten hourglass timepieces. We are a fourth of the way done with the main story. Let's see, should we go back to the subcon? I think we should. Ooh, let's talk to Cooking Cat. What a lovely spaceship you have here. Sorry for the break and entering. I just really wanted to see what an alien spaceship is like. You're twitchy. You know, I expected aliens to be more green and probably with a thirst for flesh. But I guess you aliens come in all shapes and sizes, huh? You're gonna kill me in my sleep, aren't you? Hey, if you're looking to explore our planet, you'll need to understand it first. Otherwise, you all know if you're stepping on grass or quicksand. Don't know how to identify relics? Fear now. Cooking Cat is here. I'll let you have this burger cushion relic for free. Oh shit, I get a free relic out of this? Hell yeah! You can identify this relic at the podium. If you place them on the podium in the correct order, you might be able to make sense of it. If you're able to identify a relic, something great might happen. You never know, so keep an eye out for relics. Okay. I've taught you everything I know about relics. I mean, I can afford to repair it, but I'm going to save it for now. These are little stands that you get for your relics. I have, I'm pretty sure, two-thirds of a burger cushion. And probably two-thirds of the train set. I don't know if any of them are two or two, but I think they're all at least three. Could be mistaken, but you know what? I'll, I'll unlock the first one to show you. Alright. So. Oh no, I think Burger Kush Burger is two of two. Yeah, Burger's just two. It's a match. You've identified a relic from this strange planet. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, we got a time rift. Okay. Ma Mafia Town Time Rift. Let's go check that out. I do enjoy me a good time rift. Ooh, two time rifts. Fancy. Alright, so the purple ones, if I'm not mistaken, are actually time rifts that are specifically created when you make relics. And the blue ones are ones that just show up as traditional anomalies. That is, oh, that is, um, what is that place called? I know where that is, but I forget, it's like, it's like a bazaar, like a little marketplace area. And our purple one is in pretty close to it, actually. I don't know if that's on the other side of the door, but the bazaar itself is by... Doors, one of the portions of the door, like see with the um the cannon there, you can jump in that cannon and it fires you through the doors to the other side. And uh, yeah, so the bazaar is on one of those sides. So let's go check it on out. I'll go golden vault. No, you know what? I'm gonna go. She came from outer space because I want to go experience Mafia Town in the rain. Mistaken. All 
Alright, so this... Oh, so the other time roof is going to be on the other side of this. So I can show y'all what I was talking about. Just shoots you through the middle. And the time roof is right there. Oh, ooh, ooh, I missed it. Just I tried to, I pulled up at the last second because I saw that yarn. Alright. It should, I guess, since the way it works, I believe I'm at six now because it took me four to make this hat. And I had the opportunity to make a nice hat when I made this hat. So two four yards away from making our ice hat. Which is very nice. Oh yeah, so if it's not like the um jumping or uh, yeah, if it's not the heavy platforming, it, enemy fights, enemy fights where you go down these speci these uh, areas. It was kind of like uh, how they did in Psychonauts. Hello, little child. This is Mafia Time Rift. Time piece hit Mafia in head. And now Time Rift filled with Mafia thoughts and dreams. This Time Rift is simple. Simple like Mafia. Just, Just how, how Mafia, mafia like. like it. Rules of Time Rift. If you die, you start over. You need Rift Pawns to go deeper. That is all the rules. Please, tread carefully in Mafia Time Rift. Mafia like to experience past. Alright. The music in these just like all the time riffs. The songs in all the time riffs are fantastic. So we have to collect crowns. It's the SS none of your business. Nice. Oh, you never have to fly away from me. I won't attack you. I already know it's bad luck to kill a seabird. Bad luck to kill a seabird! So I can collect more crowns because, and I'm gonna go collect that extra crown because I can use that on lower levels and so I don't have to get all the crowns on the lowest of levels. Oh, ah, there was one over there too I missed. Oh well. Hey, stamp it. I'm the king. Give me your crown. Give me the crown. Come on. Neat. Be super neat if you just gave me the crown. Alright, they did. Cool. Cool. Now we make our way up here. Get this other crown. crown down here? Is that? Oh, that is. Oh, that's one of the I miss. I miss one of the other one. It wasn't a crown that I saw. Who's another one of those pieces? He enjoys fish. Clearly, Mafia really likes fishing. He's a fishing Mafia. Has little girl noticed that unspent rift pawns are kept each floor? No need to get every single pawn. With luck, Mafia has opened entrance to next floor for you. Aren't you nice, Mafia? I feel like there's something on this floor. Oh, he hello. Maybe not run into the enemy. I feel like there's something on this floor. Like it's too, too convenient there. Why make the floor? Hey, why make the floor? If there's not something you're gonna collect. Oh hey, it's a uh, King Mafia. Hello, King Mafia. How are you? That's 
why magnet badge pays off. I guess the rest is up there. Okay, cool, I don't have to. Jump on one of their little platforms. You know there's gonna be some sort of piece. Probably one of those little whatever the puzzle piece looking things are. There's gotta be something on this side, right? Or seaside spaghetti. Because that's what I want when I'm at a wharf. Italian food. Oh, you, you know what? You're not the only one that can play throw stuff at people. Nolan Ryan! I am terrible, I am. Cy Young! There we go. Right. This is the one, I, this is what I was talking about a couple episodes back. This is cool dude! Total, should totally give him your fish. Can't get a good angle right now, but uh, it's better in, in Mafia Town. Than it is in this little dream state. Anyways, oh, oh my god, I almost just straight up baseball slid my way into death. Into certain death. Alright, on to the next level. And here is our final level where we just hit this a couple times. Gives us a lot of pawns. Then it ends up cracking. And we get a timepiece from it. Three pawns on the table, but whatever. Oh, that's right. Make sure I can collect all the can collect all the pictures, because these are really entertaining. That's all we got. Don't get any more of the story. Ladybug flare, ladybug flare. It's probably gonna give us like a. Ooh, that's uh, that's the hat flare I like. A little monster hat flare for the sprint hat. I forget what this is called. But I rocked this hat flare for a while. I definitely remember that one. Little Godzilla hat flare. I want to go fast. All right, let's go clean out the subcon well. Ooh, we also have a banana. See, should I do the manor or the subcon well? The manor is an interesting mission. What missions have we done so far this play? We did the initial contractual obligations. Subcon well is interesting enough as well, though. Let's do subcon well. We'll do the manor uh, next time around. Because the manor is a very, very fun mission. It's one of those missions that completely changes up 
the whole that the whole type of game that you're playing. Like I love how they brilliantly do that, where you're almost playing different genres of games because they're paying homages to different types of games and different games that have inspired the developers. But they're done so well that it's just like the gameplay is fun. Got some fox spirits over here. Really? I wonder why sinking why sinking is in green and he says get it. Gee, I wonder why. Alright. Let's go check out these fox spirits. We want to die. We want to burn bright. And our bonfire needs more. Only the finest paintings will do. Will you help us? One. Nope, uh, that's not how. That's not how you throw something. That's not how you throw something, John. Brett Favre. All right, cool. I don't care. I want to burn the fox spirits first. I don't think I can jump. I can't jump. I have to throw it and then I'll jump. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've established this. I pressed B because I was trying to pick up the painting. Do not talk to you. Nobody wants to talk to you. Stop trying to make fetch a thing. I'll borrow you real quick. Dang it. Ouch. And now I'm all char. Oh. And now I'm all charred. And they are all exploded. Everyone's happy. Subcon well is this way. Where's other homeboy? I'm assuming he meant this way. Yeah, the well's right here. I don't have the mask for that. How am I supposed to make my way up there without the mask? Oh! This does. Oh, I, I forgot. These bells essentially do what the uh, the forest dwellers or fox dwellers, something dwellers hat does. Where you'll see these like ethereal things throughout the world where they're not completely formed. And you ring these bells and it starts them to form. And so when you end up getting the hat, which we had the. We found the yarn for, but we still need 12 pieces for so the hats it is this one dweller mask yarn when we get that hat made we'll be able to uh we don't need these bells we can jump on these ethereal things so we'll be able to do that in any other level because in, in, in as it stands right now we can only do it with the, the bells and the bells only show up in this level so let's do some <laughs> I said, as he as he says, let's do some good platforming, and you know, yeah, yeah, let's totally mess everything up. Let it, let's just ring, 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 ring a ding, 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 dong. And come on, you can't double jump. I'm an idiot. Sorry, folks, I don't know how to platform apparently. There we go, and into the well. Oh, or I'll jump down like an idiot because I'm smart. <sighs> Why do I do this? Sometimes I do things like that where I'll just, um, like I've gotten to my destination and I just feel the unnecessary reason, like this unnecessary urge to click an extra button. And then I do, and then the, fla the, the quote unquote flashiness pretty much messes up the jump that was a simple jump that I just had to make. Anyways, welcome to the subcon well. A boy. And we have a new cow relic. And then one of 
these guys, which I can use to... They pretty much work like balloons, where you hit them and you go further. At least you'll, you'll see that later on. Once we're able to actually explore the forest, because a lot of, a, a lot of the forest is actually explored from uh, the treetops. You, you barely see very much from the ground level. That's the uh, grappling hook. Ready to get that. It's a very nice thing to have. First, we're gonna drop it on the spider web, though. Doesn't do anything. I'm an idiot. Alright. Spider web is. God, I, I, I keep thinking psychonauts, and I wanna uh, get that get that figment out with the little thingamajiggy. Be a figgy piggy. Shot. All right. Got ourselves the hook shot badge, and I'm assuming it doesn't show me what badge I have because on the top of the head, and I can't determine that. I can just do that. It's photo badge, so let's get the magnet badge as well with the hook shot. And now we can swing from things. that could happen. By golly, I got to try out this new ability. Oh no! How did this happen? Right. And now we run. Get out of my way, Spider-Man. I don't care if it is pizza time. Water wasn't so close. Okay, then not liking this. I was about to say that uh, a lot of these jumps you don't really need the, uh, the X thing for. You can just do a little extra jump with it. I think it's called. But you do like a little forward dash after you jump. Okay, I gotta get the coin. Gotta get the coin. Give me the coin. I'm not leaving without this coin. Yeah, got myself a coin. Very forgiving, like I said. The, um... What's the name of it? It came with the Seal the Deal DLC, but it is, uh... The guy that we give the contract for. He gives you... Significantly harder missions. Like, all these missions, to start out, the actual missions... They're like, you know, it's, it's accessible. They want to make the game accessible. It's a fun little, cutesy little game. But if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, the the extra missions that you have, the um, Death Wish, that's what it's called, the Death Wish missions, 
Well, you're gonna see some of those later. And I'll probably have a webcam by the time we start getting around to those ones. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna see some frustration, that's for sure. Because the scaling, the difficulty scaling, like, for this game as it is, and then the Death Wish missions, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous jump in difficulty. Alright, so we com we cleaned out the subcon well. Let's get that hourglass. Don't know when we started. Time-wise, uh, got 12. I think we have time for a time rift. Let's go find that other time rift. <gasps> Intruder alert. Oh, it's King Mafia. Go say hi to King Mafia. We meet again, my arch nemesis. What? You don't remember me? How rude! How could I forget you, King it's Mafia? Me, boss of the Mafia, remember? You blew me up in our little indiscretion, and your young friend captured my remains in this jar. I'm without a body. I should be furious, but it is okay. The past is the past, and I'll accept your carcass as an apology. You won't hand it over! Such nerve on such a small child! If I had hands, I would slap you! Rude? Well, you don't have hands, so you can't do shit. And I'm gonna hit you with an umbrella I'll after we finish talking. I'll just buy a new body, then. There has to be someone there who would be willing to trade his corpse to trade his corpse for money. I may not look like it right now, but I'm well-traveled. I know the whereabouts of all the secrets on Item. this planet. Item. Sale. Buy my map badge, and I will show you where you can find relics that will make you rich. Oh, he only has one item. <laughs> that just makes that even better. He just... Item... Item sale. It's one item. It's a map badge. That's what he has for sale. Whee! <laughs> so, we're gonna go get that... Last time rift in Mafia Town. And that's in the by the bazaar. So I just need to remember how to get to the bazaar. Shouldn't be too difficult, I'm thinking. Care about this? Don't care about this mission. Just showing me bolts. I just want to find my way to the bazaar. Some. Oh yeah, now I remember now. It's at the outskirts of the intro area. So it's like that very first courtyard you find yourself in. But it is on the outer area of that. So again, I should have spawned in at a different spot for a different mission, but... You know, this, we're taking in the sights. We're just taking it all in. Aquarius uh, is still further. And we're just running into trees like it is. Okay. Here's our courtyard. Which means that our bazaar should be... I want to say down there. The general area. Here we are. 
There's our bazaar. Mafia say, keep eye out for Tano. Maybe something interesting appear later. Ha! <laughs> Mafia just kidding. Nothing interesting ever happened. Ha! Foreshadowing! You, uh, it already showed up, though. What? What? I'm not gonna... See, those... Th they disappear. The uh, fault codes disappear if you don't collect all four of them in the single thing that you're doing. So because we went to the time rift, it goes back to zero. But now we know there's a vault code there, so we'll go get that later when we're looking for the green vaults. Could have made that jump, but I wanted to be safe with it. There's no time limit or anything chasing me, so I don't have to make like white knuckle jumps. I can just kind of take it easy. Tanuki is sleeping in the sky, and cookies that crumble below my feet. Time piece. Thank you. This time piece number 13. Lucky number 13. Let's get a, a roll on. Ladybug flare. I don't even know what that's for. I just. We've got nothing but hat flare. Oh, okay, well, never mind. It's the sprint hat. I was gonna say we've got nothing but hat flares, so I'm gonna skip. But I uh, pressed the wrong button. So, here we are. We have a sprint hat flare that I'm probably not going to use because I already have my, my uh, reptile hat flare. And I don't need another hat flare until we get to, um, I think it's like post carrier, I don't remember. But, alright. So, I'm thinking that's a good place to call it on this particular episode so thank you for watching everybody like and subscribe if you haven't or don't but it'd be real cool if you did and uh yeah see you on the next episode